and in preps.rivals.com. Kyle Henderson here talking week five, Mr. Football. Of course, we got to start off with Artesia Zone, Landry Jones. Last week, threw for another big game, over 200 yards, 244 actually, and the big win over Deming. This week, they have the one and three dangerous cavemen. Should be an interesting match for the Bulldogs. Next up on the list, James Hall from Las Cruces High School athlete slash running back whatever you want to call him the young man just got his first offer from New Mexico State congrats to him over the past four games James Hall has almost accounted for 800 total yards the big man is gonna do big things this week they got a good one with El Dorado at the number three spot we got Nathan Enriquez if you've never seen this young man play you're missing out it's one of the best football players in the state of New Mexico He's a great athlete, great competitor, all heart. I'm talking about all heart. Yes, sir. No, sir. That's exactly how Nathan Enriquez is. He's a great Mr. Football candidate, and I wish him success this coming week as Mayfield tangles with the La Cueva Bears from Albuquerque. The number four spot, we got to give it up to Manuel Robles from Clovis High School. I know they lost last week to La Cueva Bears, but I still believe that Manuel Robles has it in him to be a legitimate Mr. Football candidate. This week, they got a tough one with the Rio Rancho Rams in Rio Rancho. Two very good running backs in that football game, Marcus Williams, Manuel Robles, TJ Harris, another running back who's kind of emerging from Rio Rancho. But then again, you have Derek Phillips from Clovis. Should be a very good ball game. And good luck to Manuel Robles in that one. Other Mr. Football candidates still in the mix. Quarterback John Mater from Cibola. They traveled to face the Oñate Black Knights this week down in Las Cruces. Quarterback of Mayfield High School, Matthew Sandoval, been out the past couple of weeks, but we expect to see him back in the mix. And hats off to Matthew Sandoval for sticking in there. We know you're a leader and we're still watching. Reese Franklin, holla at your boy. Huge game last week against Oñate. Three touchdown catches, over 150 yards receiving. This young man's stock just continues to rise. And him and his buddy Sean Mitchell are a real reason Hobbs is a legitimate threat down there in 5A in that southeastern section of football. Los Alamos running back Ruben Martinez still in the mix. They face Belen this coming weekend. Now, Belen last week knocked out Roswell. Could they knock off Los Alamos? Probably not. Ruben Martinez, not that big on stats-wise, but he's more of a role player this year. Still got an eye on Ruben Martinez. Once again, this is Kyle Henderson, nmpreps.rivals.com, the best high school football website in the state of New Mexico, signing off. Great week of football coming at you.